Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to see how we can use the KNN imputation method to fill in the missing values in a data set using the R programming language. In the previous video, we have studied about the KNN approach and we will see that how we can use that approach to fill in the missing values. Now, recall that so far, whatever techniques of missing value imputation we have studied, studied uh, only focuses on the numerical variable. So far, we have not discussed anything specifically for the categorical variables. Now, one of the techniques that applies when we have missing values in categorical variable is to replace the missing values with the most frequent observations. However, we can also use the KNN classifier to classify that what value that the missing values can take. And this method comparatively gives a more consistent result. So let us take it to the R Studio. I have already loaded a data set. Uh, this data set can be obtained from the Tableau Public website. The original name of the data set is Hollywood's Most Profitable Movies. And I am using this data set and I have named it just Movies and stored it in another data frame called Movies. So now once I have loaded the data set, let me see at the structure of the data which is given by the str function. And the structure shows that this data frame contains 74 observations of 8 variables. Now the three of these variables, frames, genre and lead studios are the factors, that means they are the categorical variables, whereas the rest of them are either integer variables or numerical variables. Now let's look at the first few lines of the data set. So I will type head of the movies because that will allow me to see the first few for six lines of the data set. See here are the eight variables starting from films to worldwide gross to year and here we have the six observation. The variable film takes the name of the film, the genre specifies the genre of the films. Here we have the information of the lead studio the audience score, profitability, rotten tomatoes, worldwide cross and the year in which the movie was released. Now let us look at the summary of the movies. This will enable us to see if any missing values are present in any variables or not and say yeah we got five missing values in the for the variable genre. Now let me say one thing over here that the original data set the name of the original data set is Hollywood's most profitable stories and that can be op obtained from the Tableau public website now the original data set does not contain the missing values for the variable genre I have just randomly deleted some of these values so that I can demonstrate the missing value imputation for the categorical variables here we have one missing value for the variable audience score which is a numerical variable. We have three missing values for the variable profitability, one for the variable rotten tomatoes. Now we will see how we can use KNN imputation to impute for the missing values for each of these variables. Now this KNN function is in the package VIM so it's necessary that we load the library VIM. Now once the library is loaded let us see what help is available for the function KNN. Look that it clearly says over here that this KNN function is for K nearest neighbor imputation. Now this is the function and these are all the arguments of this function. Uh, but I want to fo want you to focus on mainly these three arguments: the data, variable, and the value of K. Now the data is the data set that contains the missing values. We can also specify the variables that where we want to use the KNN imputation method to impute for the missing values. If we do not specify anything, then by default it is going to take the entire means all the columns present in the data set. That is just going to going to find out that 
uh, find out all the missing values that miss missing data that are present in the data set and going to impute using this KNN imputation method and by default k is equals to 5 that is if you do not specify what the value of k is it is going to take 5 neighbors by default otherwise we can specify that 6 uh, 7 or 10 in case we want that the in case uh, i want the function to consider 10 nearest neighbor so to begin with let us start writing a code to impute the missing values present in the variable genre and profitability by taking the value of k as 6 so it will go like this knn the name of the data is movies let's specify the variable genre and profitability and finally specify the value of k as equal to 6 and I will store this entire thing in another object named movie1 well it seems that there is a spelling error in my code so let's correct it and rerun it again and ha huh, that here we are done so the values got imputed now let's check for the summary of this newly created object movie 1 let's run it and see that there is no missing values in the variable genre and there is no missing values in the uh, variable profitability all the missing values that were present in these two variables got imputed using the KNN imputation method However, since we did not specify in the function that we also want to impute the audience score, uh, we also want to impute for the Rotten Tomatoes, so there are still missing values present in these two variables. Uh, now let us go ahead and do the imputation for the entire data set. This time I would like to call new object movie2 and I will store this imputation in this object movie2. KNN, I will just specify the name of the movies in it, the name of the data is in it, and nothing. I won't specify what variables do I, I want to consider. I want to take it by default, all the variables present in the data set. I won't specify the value of k. I will let it take k equals to 5 by default. I will simply run this code and see it's done. And we will now check the summary of this object movie and see the summary indicates that there is no missing value present in any of these variables no any values no any values no any values no any over here However, if you notice one thing that it creates this function k and actually creates some additional variables which are logical in nature. The number of variables and are almost same as the are, are exactly same as the number of variables present in the original data set. And so if I want to see the head of movie two, what I will get is that I will get this original eight variables that was present in the data set from before and in addition to that I will get this extra variables that KNN use for filling the missing values so let us delete these extra vari variables to uh, to to remove the junk or to remove the junk from the data so let us take the data movie and update it as uh, by subsetting the data movie 2 and selecting all the variables from film to year thus it will select all the variables starting from film to year and it will del ignore all these variables and accordingly it will update this object in data frame movie 2 
let's run this now look at the head of movie too and see here we are done so this is how we use the KNN imputation method to fill in the missing values for the categorical variables now this method is not only just used for categorical variables but it can also be used to fill in the missing value for the numerical variables as we have seen I hope that this tutorial has been helpful and that you can fill in the missing values present in your own data set so see you in the coming videos we are going to do a lot of discussion about data analysis and predictive modeling so keep watching thank you